US fighting is carrying on in Libya. The US and NATO are threatening direct military action against Gaddafi, who is digging in his heels and reports saying bombing the protesters and saying in a two to three hour speech today that if there is direct military action by the West in Libya, thousands will die. We are discussing Indian foreign policy and India's policy of engagement with dictators in the Afro Asian world and asking why India is not more forthcoming in its support to the protesters. We have Ambassador Parthasarthi giving us a realist view. We have Kamal Vithushunoy giving us the idealistic view. And we have Well Awad in the middle who is going to tell us what uh, what he thinks Indian foreign policy should be. I think it, uh, it, the Indian foreign policy has been watched very closely by the Arabs, by the, uh, the Arab streets, by the analysts also. Seeing India emerging as a pragmatic face, as they call it, in the, in the foreign mm -hmm. policy, whether it will be an ally of the NATO and the American for dictations or will be as post independent sovereign independent foreign policy of, of India so I think it's a very thin thread India is moving with to, to be where to to be called in both that's sides. a good point if, you know if these tumultuous changes are happening surely as you as you were saying earlier India wants to be on the right side of history and on the right side of forces that are going to prevail why hitch our wagon to uh, outdated uh, dictators I, just a minute let us be very very clear this movement has taken place in Tunisia Egypt Libya Elsewhere, there has been a spillover and some unrest, which in my view will be managed. Change will come, but changes in these countries have to come from within. Mm -hmm. I do not want a Pax Americana <laughs> imposed on the world, where the Saudi Arabs, are, whom they are comfortable with, have a do what they want, and people they don't like are uh, various things are imposed, or where they feel change is exp is you know good for their image. So let these things evolve. India should be in touch with people of all hues. Right. India should welcome civil society organizations. But not go overboard supporting democracy uh, no, and no, protest. No, let no, not, not pass gratuitous comments. comments. I find, for example, if I'm an Arab, I would be hurt if I was to be told, you know, this is not good for you. That's for me right. to determine. And there has to be a region, yeah. even with Burma. Do you want to quickly respond to that? We're running yeah, out of time. Listen, there's no one who is giving uh, homilies or a Ad, uh, Ill, Ill uh, wanted advice. Mm -hmm. It is a political policy stance that we are talking about. And uh, as Ambassador Padsarthi has said, uh, the process of change is not over in the Arab street. Right. So in, in that kind of situation, it's very important that we stand up for democratic rights. But also, we oppose the hegemons who would try to use the UN and their own forces to their own interests to to impose their will to so impose their uh, will. so in fact we need to stand up for democratic rights uh, on the other hand we need to also be realist and see which way our interests lie and uh, we also the, the arab world as well Awad is saying looking to india to see which way india's foreign policy will turn thanks very much indeed ambassador patasati well Awad, kamal mr chenoy we're asking the question uh, does indian foreign policy uh, find a comfort factor actually with dictators of the afro asian world what are you telling us there 50 50 Steven Stevens, thanks for watching.